My goal on this hike was to explore a canyon that I had discovered on a previous mountain bike ride. On my hike into the canyon, I discovered something that was unexpected, fascinating, and pretty darn exciting. Stay tuned and see what it is I found. So I hiked up to these cliffs first because I was interested in that white mark, which indicates a bird, usually a bird of prey. And then I was drawn to this interesting rock layer with a lot of smaller rocks. But then I was, as I got closer, I found these, the most interesting find of all. Some uh, petroglyphs. Let's go up and take a closer look. a spiral and some more that are really hard to make out but here on the rock we can see uh, some black most likely from a fire and when we look here we can see why this would be an awesome spot there's a uh, rock outcropping that creates a perfect shelter overlooking this canyon which would probably make a very good hunting area. Here's another spiral but what's fascinating is it seems like everywhere there's a slight outcropping that there are a few petroglyphs. You can almost imagine a hot sunny day. This is a good spot to sit in the shade or wait out a thunderstorm. So here's a handprint. Looks like a left hand. And as I said in an earlier video, I'm not an archeologist or an anthropologist but uh, I believe this would actually fit into the category of a pictograph, different than a petroglyph. Petroglyphs are carved into the rock. Pictographs are like drawings on a rock. And the way that I understand that they made these, if memory serves, is they would actually fill their mouth with uh, whatever that they were like the paint, if you will. Uh, and then they would put their hand up and spray around their hand. It's amazing. There's one here. And there's another one over here. Here's the uh, best hand print yet. Again, looks like a right hand. Earlier, we saw left hands. These appear to be right hands. The question will invariably come up who left these. And as I said before, I'm not really sure, but we are uh, surrounded by several Pueblos. Uh, the Zia Pueblo is just down the road, as is the Santa Ana Pueblo. And they're areas that have been occupied for uh, thousands upon thousands of years and are still occupied. Here's even some more petroglyphs. And as I said, I am not an expert in the remotest sense of the word. But this one almost seems like if we look up here, there's a squiggly line and an arrow. And if we look up here, there's sort of a breach in the cliff. 
I almost wonder if this one, which is not under a overhang like the other ones, is almost like a signpost for people coming up the canyon to find a way to climb out of the canyon to the mesa above. I have no idea. That's just a guess on my part. I found another rock panel here with some more rock art, but also more contemporary rock art, which we can consider graffiti, I guess, but there are some interesting uh, things on here. Uh, for example, there's a 1901, there's a 1906, there's some symbols that look like uh, brand marks, so like ranchers. So I would guess that ranchers were out here with their cattle and there's a stream down here behind me and they were watering their camel or camels. They could have been watering their camels, but more likely their cattle. And uh, while they were sitting here, uh, they etched their name in the rock. One final inscription on a different rock. And I think it should go without saying that while the one time maybe this was acceptable with today's day and age, please do not deface or change the rocks in any way.